and welcome to most of my Mac.com. To, today I'm going to uh, walk you through a very important directory uh, in Mac OS X that a lot of people don't even know about. In fact, the directory we're talking about here is the utility folder. So why don't you open a uh, find a window and uh, go to applications and under applications open the uh, utilities folder. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about a few applications that can actually be very useful for you uh, in this folder. Um, number one application here, like you can see right now, is the activity monitor. In fact, the activity monitor is what you need to use if you want to see uh, what's going on on the back end of your machine, like all the processes running <clears throat> and a few performance metrics uh, like CPU, system memory, disk, ut disk utility and so on. So this is very handy. Uh, a little bit like on Windows, you would talk about the task manager. Uh, this is very useful um, at any given time. Say if you want to see what application is eating up uh, some uh, uh, m memory or some CPU, and you can you know force quit the application right from here by clicking on this uh, red button. Um, so that's it for the activity monitor. Uh, the next uh, application uh, that you can probably find useful is the airport admin utility if you have an airport base station and that's what you would use to set up uh, your airport base station wireless. Uh, the MIDI setup is actually also pretty good for those who do, um, you know, audio and music and who use MIDI devices. Uh, you have a very beautiful graphical interface here where you can uh, uh, link uh, MIDI devices together and connect them together and so on. And you can also set up your uh, stereo, your you know, mono or stereo um, or audio channels uh, from uh, the audio devices interface here. Um, so that's also very useful, I find. Uh, the batch monitor, I'm not going to cover that because it goes more into the, um, I would say people do video production and we use a Final Cut Studio. Um, so another thing that you could find also useful is a console, especially if you are one of those, um, you know, geek, Unix geek, and who wants to kind of see what's going on the, uh, on the logs of the machine and see what application crashed, why it crashed, and so on. So this can be useful as well. Uh, the next thing that is very important to know, actually, is the disk utility. Uh, in fact, the disk utility is what you would use to manage anything disk related. Let's say formatting a hard drive, um, you know, sometimes burning uh, images or creating uh, disk images. Uh, you can also use this to burn DVDs, by the way, and uh, we're going to cover on most of my Mac uh, in a few weeks. We're going to have an article dedicated uh, in how to burn on Mac actually. Um, so here you can also uh, you know, configure your hard drive, erase data from any kind of hard drive. You can even uh, create software read from your you know from this uh, this application directly so you actually don't need to buy an external uh, software to be able to manage all those great things so that's kind of one of the things I find very powerful here you can you know create a mirrored raid uh, striped raid uh, concatenated disks disk set so that's kind of a uh, very interesting to have right built in OS 10 like that grab is your application of choice on OS 10 to uh, capture screenshots so if you um, Double click on grab, actually there's no window that opens up, but you can see on the menu bar here that grab is open and you can you know select what you want to uh, capture. Uh, you can take a screenshot and um, and, and uh, save them and do what you want to do with them. And then you also have a grapher. Grapher is very good for students and for anyone who wants to do scientific calculations. I found it very powerful actually. You can create some uh, curves very easily. For example, let's write a function like x, uh, y equals x square or x to the power 3 and you can see it, it, it right away it draws it for you you can actually create a bunch of things like um, you know some um, uh, variable that you're going to change on the side here uh, and, and and it's going to automatically actually uh, uh, update it on the graph for you. Uh, let's take a look for example at some differential equations uh, that they have here as samples equations. Oh look at this. So this is very beautiful. Um, it's it's really powerful. I mean you know it's it's all what you'll be looking for to do some scientific uh, calculations and scientific uh, curves. Alright, so the next one I want to cover now is um, 
the keychain access if you haven't taken a look yet we have an article actually on keychain access um, on how to use it to store your password it's very useful actually um, you can use it to uh, store your uh, password your uh, bank information and uh, this is where everything on your Mac that's related to authentic authentication gets stored your web certificates your web passwords and so on so you probably want to read the article that we covered on this and get a little more familiar with uh, how to use the keychain access and uh, another big application that many people probably don't know is the migration assistant this is an excellent application to migrate data from two computers so basically let's say you have an old Mac and you bought a, a, a new Mac and you want to transfer your data from one to another this is what you want to use when you open the migration assistant it's going to seamlessly import from one computer to the to the other to the other the, the users the passwords the applications the uh, network and machine settings the files volumes it, it's really really good I really like it so, uh, sometimes it can take a little bit of time when you have huge data that you, you transfer from one machine to another but really if you don't want to you know if you want to have if you want to have a, 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 a seamless and painless uh, trans, trans, transition uh, or, or transfer that's what you would use and you'll be really really satisfied all right so I'm not gonna go into the net info manager let's skip that and let's talk a little bit about the printer setup utility this is where you can go and add a printer or modify your current print printer settings so I find this also um, useful to know and uh, the next application that I want to cover is the system profiler like you can probably you probably had a chance to access the system profiler before by going to uh, the Apple button here and click on about this Mac uh, in fact when you click on more info that's the system profiler that opens up so like you can see um, you know unlike Windows where it's just, it's very difficult to find all your device information in a clear uh, and timely fashion here it is extremely easy the hardware uh, it gives you a uh, summary of your hardware here and then you can click on any of those um, little um, menu items to find out everything else about your machine the graphics from from the simplest um, you know from the simplest specs to the <laughs> most advanced uh, terms and that, that's that's pretty good actually and uh, you can control the power and uh, not, you can take a look at the power uh, information as well and so on so that's very good and also you can actually click on applications here and it's, it's going to show you every application that actually uh, installed on your machine so that's it for system profiler and for the unix guru or unix uh, interested users uh, this is the terminal window that's what you would use to um, you know dive into the command line let's see if we can impress you here let's, uh, here we go boom well, not that impressive, but anyhow, that's kind of handy. And X11 is just um, uh, another um, terminal-like uh, window. We call it X Windows that Unix geeks usually like to use. All right, that's it for uh, utilities. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will now be able to have more control on what's going on on the back end of your computer, and also use these tools that can definitely help uh, help you and improve your productivity. Well, thank you for at your attention, and stay tuned to Most of My Mac for our next week tutorials.